All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn two ways to clear all the sprites off the screen. Okay, so it's the end of the game or you're changing levels and you need to clear it. I'm going to show you two different ways. So on this screen, I have two sprite groups, the enemies group on the bottom and this walls group on the top. And then I have a single sprite, which is the player sprite. And I can bump into these walls. And when I run into the monsters, these enemies, one of these enemies, the game uh, is over and I want to show a game over screen. So how can I get rid of all these sprites? So there's two different ways. So in my draw function, I just called a check collisions function. And in my check collisions function, I'm checking if the player sprite overlaps one of the sprites in the enemy's sprite group. And if it does, I'm running the clear sprites function. So if the player sprite overlaps one of the enemy's sprite is true, then run clear sprites. So in the clear sprites function, what I'm doing is removing each sprite group. So the walls dot remove sprites method, I'm removing the enemies using the remove sprites method. And because player sprite is not a sprite group, I just use the remove. So it'll be player sprite sprite dot remove. Okay, so I use remove sprites for sprite groups and just use remove for individual sprites. That is one way. And the second way to remove all sprites, so I'm just going to show you it works here, moving my man. So in the function clear sprites, I'm just making a for loop. So for let i equals all sprites dot length. Every sprite you create will go into this array, all sprites. And dot length will tell me how many sprites are in that array. An array is an ordered list. So the first sprite that was created would be first on that list. And then the second sprite would be the second list. I could print this out if I went somewhere else in the draw function and put console.log all sprites. There. Now, every time the sprites are drawn, I get a list of all 10 sprites. And you can get all kinds of information from there. Okay, so the all sprites is an array of every sprite that you create. So I'm getting starting from the end at the very last sprite. I'm going I minus minus. So I'm moving the last sprite, then the last sprite from that, then the last sprite from that, then the last sprite from that, all the way till there's only one sprite left, and I'm removing that sprite, and there's no more sprites left. That is a different way. If you have a lot of different sprite groups and individual sprites in your game or a project, this is a fast way to do it rather than remove sprites, remove sprites, remove this, remove this, remove this. You can do everything in here in one loop. So that's two different ways to remove all the sprites from the canvas. 